Alright, hello and welcome everyone. So today we are going to be talking about a Hellmint build for Harrow. And before we get started with this, please let it be known that this build is it's kind of a meme. And there are definitely better things than this. But it is a very funny use for Harrow. So... Uh, and it's also, like, I mean, useful if you want to play Harrow in, like, a completely different context than you would normally think about playing Harrow. Basically, we are making DPS Infinite Energy Harrow. And that requires Thermal Sunder. So Thermal Sunder uh, has, you know, the overarching helmet build that you can use on any Warframe, which turns them into a DPS that can do Sanctuary Onslaught. Uh, at a very low level, as long as you have, like, a reasonable mastery rank at, like, you know, 18 plus or so. But you can also put it on Harrow. Now, with Harrow, the build we end up with is basically this. And this build pretty much is the Thermal Sunder build. However, there's one key difference between Harrow with Thermal Sunder and all of the other Warframes with Thermal Sunder. And that main difference is Thurible. Thurible allows you to gain energy on kills and gain a lot of energy on headshots. Now, by default, Harrow does not have a DPS ability in his kit. You can get crit chance and do all this other stuff, but you're dealing damage with guns. You don't have any big AoEs to really take advantage of this. So... We slap Thermal Sunder on him, and suddenly we have a large fire AoE that burns enemies to death. So, we're going to purge the enemies in Holy Hellfire, and then we're going to get a shitload of energy for doing so. It is hilariously, hilariously effective for what this build is, uh, and I will say it is rivaling in usefulness stuff like Saren and Equinox in Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. Now, with that Elite Sanctuary Onslaught note, it is really important to note if you're not going to bring it to Elite Sanctuary Onslaught specifically, and like you have a Saren for that, or etc., cetera, etc., cetera, I would highly advise you to instead replace Penance with Thermal Sunder instead of the first ability of Harrow, because the first ability of Harrow is really, really good for getting, you know, a ton of overshields, so that you really don't have to worry about anything survivability-wise, but for the purposes of Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, you really have to put it in the first slot because otherwise Samaris is going to yap his gums and tell you, no, you can't use that. And that really puts a damper on the whole having infinite energy thing when you can't use it as many times as you'd like. But if it's in your first slot, he won't complain. So that's what we have to do. Now, it is worth noting here uh, that I am using like Arcane Aegis and Energize and all this business, and you really, really don't need to. And you can put Thermal Sunder in the second slot, and you will clear Elite Sanctuary Onslaught just fine, if not safer than what I'm going to be showing, but it won't be as ridiculous looking. And that's really what I'm going for here. I really want to emphasize that. So, we're not in the Simulacrum today. We are instead just going to jump right into Elite Sanctuary Onslaught and just show the goofiness as as it works its magic, because it is, it is a truly, truly wonderful thing. I will say... Uh, one of the uh, upshots here to this build is that we have a glaive with us, and that is, of course, AoE damage on its own and can kill like a small group of enemies. That's really useful from going from uh, area to area on Elite Sanctuary Onslaught because we'll get like a nice burst of early energy if we just use Thurible uh, and then just give us a good glaive throw into us having a bunch of energy. So that's worth noting that your melee weapon will have a nice bonus if you can hit a large amount of enemies with it very quickly let's go so the most important thing is you always have to identify pretty me oh this is an amazing tile you always have to identify pretty immediately uh if you're in a um tile set that is a shitload of energy drain and we are but as you can see that's not going to matter for very long. So this AoE persists for a little while. Also, a thing I didn't mention here uh, that you are definitely going to want to do. Uh, you definitely want to switch your Goss's Thermal Sunder, like uh, hold tap. You want to flip that so that the fire one is on your tap. 
Uh, if you do that, then you can just tap it, and then you have a large fire AoE. And just look at all that energy. I love it when the UI overlays with itself. Uh, this is one of the best possible tiles that you can get, uh, and it's it's hilarious. It's just just absolutely obnoxious. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the brand of silliness that this build brings to the table. So if if this is what you're looking for, uh, this is it. We're gonna do this whole uh, ESO all the way to eight, like you would you'd probably normally go to. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's really what's up. That's, that's what this build is about. That's what this build is here for. And we can even get to some really hilarious, uh, amounts of, like, energy kills. Let's just, let's just dump our whole energy pool into this, you know. Just really get it in there. Just super unnecessary amounts. Where are we at here? 72 energy per? Okay. It, like, killed some enemies right as I was coming out of that. Let's, let's just see some dumb shit. Just over here generating more energy then ev trend just just being wild but yeah that's what this build is for it's mostly for goofing off um i mean you could generate enough energy to power a small town of warframes uh if that's really what you're looking for if that's what you're trying to do here i think that if you use this build long enough it will very quickly eclipse your like total energy regenerated even if you were an ev trend main for a long time just because of the raw amounts of energy being generated uh but yeah it's it's a real good time. Fantastic focus farm.
Yeah, that's that's fun. That's a good time. Thanks to the uh, small percentage of people that actually watched the end of one of these things. This build's really fucking hilarious. And it's also like, you know, it look it looks like it has the appearance of, uh, like, nerf ability, if you know what I mean. Like, it looks like a build that you should nerf, right? Because it looks so stupid. So maybe, maybe, maybe they would nerf this instead of maybe Sevagoth. I don't know. Who can say, really? Who can say really but this is a hilarious looking thing huh what a what what a wild thing 4700 kills huh what an absolutely absolutely goofy shoes thing to do and a good time but yeah thanks for watching anyone who's watched this long i very much appreciate it and i will see you tomorrow goodbye everybody